Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the return to home feature on the new DJI Mini 3 Pro. I know there's gonna be a lot of people who are getting this drone for the very first time and might be a little bit apprehensive about what happens if you get disconnected, if you're too far, or if you lose your orientation and not quite sure where the drone is up in the sky. Perhaps the battery dies in the controller. What's gonna happen with the drone? How does it return to home? So that's what we're going to go over today and all the little things that you should know about it. Now there's three types of return to home. There is a manual return to home, so that's if you initiate it yourself. There's a fail-safe return to home, so if you get disconnected, if you fly out too far, or perhaps the battery in the controller dies, the drone will automatically come back to where it took off from. And the third is a low battery return to home. So what the drone is going to do, it's going to determine how much power it needs to get back to you. And when it gets to a certain percentage, it's going to automatically go into a return to home as well. So a couple very important things to note about return to home. Uh, first of all, you should not take off until you have at least 10 to 12 satellites. Basically, you want your home point set before you take off. You will receive an audible notification that the home point has been set. But at any given time, you can go down to the maps on the bottom left-hand corner. You can see there that we have that H. Let me uh, make it a little bit bigger here for us. You can see here we have the H, that's the home point. We've got the blue dot, that's me. And then we have the blue triangle, that's the aircraft. So here we know for sure that our home point has been set. Now, another thing you should note is that you can set your return to home height. So if we go into our settings, under the safety tab, we scroll down, you can see there we have auto return to home altitude. Right now mine is set to 108 meters. It's just a good idea to make sure you have it set higher than the tallest obstacle around you. Now there's another option there for updating the home point and that's something that's important to make note of as well. Now the aircraft has to be in the air before you can make use of that and uh, we'll take a look at that here at the end of the video. So let's just go ahead here and uh, we're gonna put the drone up. You can see it's out there in front of me. And there we go. I'm not going to do any kind of recording here. This is mainly just about uh, testing out the return to home. So let's uh, get some altitude here. There we go. So now I'm just going to send the drone out. We're going to maybe go a couple hundred meters. I don't want to go too far because uh, I'm having some signal strength issues with this drone. But uh, we'll just go out a little bit here. So there we are there. We're out 263 meters. Now there's two different ways in which we can initiate a return to home. We can use the return to home button on the controller here. Or we can use the button at the left hand side of the screen. Now that button on the left hand side of the screen was a takeoff button when it was on the ground, but once we're up in the air, it turns into a return to home button. If we press and hold the return to home on the controller, you wanna do a long press, you can see that the drone automatically comes directly home. Now we can cancel it again by pressing that button and you can see the return to home has been canceled. Now if we use the button on the screen, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'll just show you here, we're gonna press on it. You can see we get this dialog box to either land in place or we can return to home. So let's go ahead and we'll press and hold on the return to home. There we go. And again, the drone is now gonna come home. So right now it's going up to our predetermined altitude of 108 meters. And as you can see there, it's now there. And uh, now it's coming back to us. Now, what it's gonna do, it's going to attempt to land pretty close to where it took off from. The drone will land fairly close to where it took off from. It may not be 100% accurate, this drone doesn't have precision landing, but it should get pretty close. You can see the crosshair there and the landing pad. And the drone's right above us. So, you know, it's pretty close. Now here's an interesting message. You can see there it's saying that area under aircraft is unsuitable for landing. And that's because there's some tall grass beside the landing pad. So what the drone will do in that situation, it'll just sit there and hover. So you can now manually take control of it, move it to where it needs to be. If you just let it sit there and hover until the battery dies, it will then just go into a force landing and uh, it'll just land. Okay, so let's cancel all that. Let's put the drone back up. Uh, what we're gonna do now is a disconnect return to home. So this is one that a lot of people are apprehensive about. They're not quite sure what's gonna happen if their drone becomes disconnected. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to head down the river here and I'm just going to fly until it uh, disconnects. And uh, with the Mini 3, I haven't been getting the best range with it, so uh, we'll see how far we can get today. But what we're going to do is just fly it until it disconnects. And, uh, yeah. You can see there we're already getting a weak signal notification. So it should disconnect here shortly. You can see the video feed starts to get a little choppy when it gets uh, to be a weak signal. And there we go. You can see our RC signal has been lost. And what the drone is doing here, well, you can see exactly what it did there. What the drone does in a disconnection, it sits and waits for about three seconds, and then it flies in reverse along the same path to try and reconnect. And as you can see there, it did reconnect automatically now again the drone is just flying home it went to our predetermined altitude and again at any point here we can cancel it just by pressing the pause button or tapping that little red x on the screen now let's do another fail safe test here what i'm going to do is power off the controller and uh, you'll see what happens here so you can see we've now powered off the controller so we've been completely disconnected and the drone again is going to wait for a little bit of time and uh, then it will start returning to home. It's always a little bit nerve-wracking when this happens. Of course, that's your drone. You don't want to lose it. Um, I'm only doing this to demonstrate just so you can feel a little bit more confident when you're out flying. Now, there we go. As you can see, the drone is coming. It's right above us. Now, again, it's not going to land because it's saying the ground is unsuitable, but that just goes to show you, even the event that you power off your controller, the drone is just going to come back and hover right from where it took off. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to power the controller back on and we'll reconnect. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is burn the battery down a little bit. You can see we're still sitting at 62%, but I want to get it down a little bit lower so I can show you what happens with a low battery return to home. So we'll just pause the video and I'll be back. So the drone's at 27% battery power there, as you can see. So what we're going to do is just send the drone for a quick flight until it initiates a low battery return to home. And again, that percentage is going to be different depending how far you are away because they're intelligent flight batteries. So it knows roughly how much power it needs before it needs to uh, come on home. So we'll just head out here and we'll just fly around until it initiates a return to home because the battery is getting low. Which should be any time there. You can look at the meter kind of shows us there now at any time we can click on that battery icon and it'll show us there how long before it returns to home due to low battery if we close it you can kind of see a little bit of a graph there right beside the percentage you can see we have a little bit of green left and it also shows us our complete flight time it should start any second now I don't want to go too far and get a disconnection return to home so I'll just stay fairly close by and there we go there you can see it's gone into a low battery return to home so you can just let it do its thing it's going to automatically start to come home or you can even cancel it if you decide that you think you have enough power to uh, come home on your own or you just have a little bit more flying a little bit more you want to capture you can of course cancel it and again we can cancel it here on the controller or up on the screen there so that is basically it I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera down so you can see that we're going to be right above us. And there we are down there. You can see my landing pad. You can see me. So a lot of really good intelligent flight features. Now I'm just going to cancel that because I just want to show you quickly how you can manually update your home point. If we go to our settings, you can see there we have that update home point. And this gives us a couple different options. You can see on the right hand side it has that triangle that's the aircraft so we can set the home point to the aircraft or we can set it to the controller you can see there's a picture of a controller there as well so we just tap on them and that will update the home point the other thing you can do is move the map around so you can see that also moves the home point so if you ever have to go in and update it because say perhaps you're walking around while you're flying you can go in there and easily update it but anyways, you can hear that the drone is beeping at me. It's telling me that it needs to land. So let's go ahead and we're going to land it. Anyways, folks, that's basically it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.